Yeah, let's go. Considered by commentators, critics, media, and other martial artists to be one of the most influential martial artists of all time. And uh, he trained in Wing Chun, and later uh, combined that with his other personal martial arts philosophy. And uh, he was credited with also helping the way Asians were presented in American films. And uh, also at his prime, he fought Chuck Norris and won in the movie Return of the Dragon. Bruce Lee died on July 20, 1973. On the day of his death, he was at an, his, a fellow actress's apartment, Betty King Pei, along with producer Raymond Chow. Earlier, Chow had left for a business meeting, leaving him alone with Tim. He complained of a headache, and she gave him a painkiller that's a combination of muscle relaxant and aspirin. He then went to go lay down and take a nap, and later on, they could not wake him up. They called for a doctor, doctor who tried for 10 minutes to wake him, and he was in some hospital and ambulance. He died in Routsville Hospital at the age of 32. He died, his cause of death was cerebral edema, which is swelling of the brain. His brain had swelled 18% at the time of his death. Earlier in the year on May 10, he had had problems with the same thing, where he was suffering from seizures and headaches on a film set and collapsed. Even after his death, he is still remembered. Alright, I'm here to talk to you about unknown facts about Bruce Lee. Alright, so he grew up in British Bone, Hong Kong, and a lot of people were trying to escape from uh, uh, communist-owned China. And there was overcrowding in Hong Kong, and because of that, there was homelessness and poverty. And that just leads to crime, so he was in a gang called the Tigers of Junction Street. And his game wasn't very good, and they got beat up a lot. So he went to learn karate. He learned from the legendary IP man. And after learning this, he went and was a ruthless street fighter. And he attacked a, a triad, remember his son. And after that, well, we don't attack the triad's son. So he moved to the US and started learning, teaching people his. Uh, or love Kung Fu. Uh, but he taught white and black people, Chinese, and or Kung Fu, and the Chinese community didn't like that. So they sent this dude named Wong Jackman to uh, basically intimidate him and tell him to stop teaching Kung Fu. And he didn't like that, so he beat him up, and then he told somebody else. So, and even after his death, there was 168 spin-off movies because anything with his name or about him was uh, money. So they named the actors like Bruce Lee and then they put like M-I instead of L-E-E and they got money from that. Uh, Bruce Lee has a big legacy. He built the foundation for modern day MMA fighting and according to BBC.com, there is a last year a exhibit for Bruce Lee opened up at the Heritage Museum in Hong Kong. And it's a five year exhibit where people can go there and they can learn about his life and his films. Uh, speaking of his films, he has five featured films still considered big time movies today. Those are The Way of the Dragon, The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Enter the Dragon, and The Game of Death. And The Game of Death is the movie that he died while they were producing it while they're still making it, and it's still considered one of the biggest unfinished movies, like to this day. And then, if any of y'all are interested, there's a pair of Bruce Lee Young Chucks for sale for, what, like, $5,000. <laughs> 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 um, Bruce Lee wrote 10 books, including interviews, fighting styles, and human body books. 
he was really uh, focused on the human body. He loved the way it worked, and he was always trying to get slimmer and better. Uh, although there was five big feature films, um, he did feature in 34 films and shows. Um, Bruce Lee had postage stamps made out of him in Hong Kong, and it was uh, five different ones. It was him fighting, and a couple of them were in his face. Um, in June 1972, he appeared on TV with his son, Brandon Lee, and made a donation for $10,000. <coughs> that stretch he made out of him in Hong Kong in 1973. Although Bruce Lee is dead, he is gone but never forgotten. Bruce Lee's contribution to martial arts and philosophy revolutionized uh, American culture and really fighting techniques. techniques. His message of self-discovery and truly expression yourself is, seen, is still seen today and echoes just as much as in the 70s and 60s. Everything from MMA fighting to philosophical thinking and ideas, Bruce Lee has done, his all, done it all and his legacy will never fade. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. All right. God, he died so young. <laughs>